Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we are going to be checking out The Punished. This is an amazing character that cannot shoot and is entirely based on the item Purgatory. I'm really interested to try this guy out. He seems really fun, seems like a very, very different sort of challenging playstyle. Uh, but there's a lot of different ways that this guy works. As you can see, there's cracks appearing randomly and we have a little number for cracks here. We also start with a vengeful spirit to make sure we can't get stuck. But there's a lot of different things this character can do. I mean, honestly, pretty good. Uh, entering a shop takes you to a special room with three items. You may take an item for free, after which you will be returned to the shop. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we've also got Mother Spine here as well. But as you can see, we jump over and we get these cracks. And then we also have our Liberation item. Now, I'm not 100% sure if we have um the ability to take a look at what this does we don't um but this item essentially from what i remember lets us lock in the cracks that we have on the floor so we can essentially get as we get, get more cracks by increasing our tier rate i believe it's your tier rate also that having the spine is going to be super useful um as we in increase the amount of cracks we can have per room by getting tiers up, they uh, they will they will filter in slowly each room. It takes a little while for the cracks to appear. As you can see, one appears, and then another appears. Uh, but once you lock them in with liberation, you can then um, easily get the cracks back because they'll spawn a little bit faster, which is really really good. Uh, in the early game, it's not going to matter as much, but later on, it'll definitely be a big bonus. One thing to note as well is we can use Liberation to um, get ourselves Ghost Bombs, the item. And I, I think there's something to do with like the, um, the amount of Ghost Bombs we have increases our chances of getting Birthright, which essentially means Liberation can instead re-roll items into any item instead of just birth, uh, instead of just Ghost Bombs. But we'll, we'll kind of mess around with that and uh, see how it goes. Uh, as, as we move along. You'll also see sometimes we have a question mark next to our amount of uh, cracks we can get. That is because we're in a larger room, I believe. I believe larger rooms, if we move to this one, yes, as you can see, we get a few extra cracks just to make up for the fact that you have to walk around quite a lot. Right, so uh, early on, we're kind of we're going to be a little bit weak and a little bit fragile, but now we're locking Liberation. It also, as you can see activates the effect of i don't remember the item's name now but you all know what i mean um and it allows us to take one free hit in the room it also gives us a bit of flight and stuff the one caveat however is when you leave a room it uncharges itself so as you can see we left the room there and it uncharges but it does charge at the end of the room to allow you to uh re-roll things if you want but obviously it would have been nice to actually use it in this room had there been combat and get a few extra pickups but because of the item we got right off the bat let's um let's take a little look in our shop because apparently we're going to get a free item indeed we are and a tears up is going to be a great one this item seems really 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 good <laughs> so every single time we walk into a shop we get a choice of three items and we can take one of them at no cost to us that seems really good. <laughs> it's especially good to get on the first floor. Also, it looks like we can have regular HP as well. Very, very nice. Uh, we're going to jump in. This character does also have a full suite of unlocks. Uh, I'm sure there will be a few more details that I'm missing on this character as we move forward. In fact, should we jump over to the wiki real quick and just take a little read over and see if there's anything that I've missed off of the description of this guy to start with. Let's, ha let's have a little look here. Um, so... Two characters, regular and tainted, 12 items, two trinkets, two new cards, a new beggar, and synergies. That is probably one thing I should mention. This guy has a lot of synergies that you wouldn't really expect, which is really, really cool. Um, both the regular and tainted version put a huge, huge emphasis on exploration and movement thanks to their pocket uh, actives. Each version has a unique way of exploring the world around them at the same time. Each version has a unique way of um, dictating your movement within combat, forcing you to play around with their needs while you dodge everything that the enemies throw at you. Um, it seems like a challenge character at first, but it gets easy um, and even more fun once you get the hang of it. Definitely, definitely feeling that already. And the fact that we now have three cracks available to us is great. So, as you can see, as we step on a crack, it charges Liberation. So, I'm going to wait for all three cracks to appear here and just kind of show how that works. So, we can go step. It didn't even end up mattering this room. But in bigger rooms later on, that might matter a little more. We do have an eternal enemy here. Those of you that haven't been watching my regular series, I'm currently playing a slightly harder 
um, Dead Cop Plus style series with some difficulty mods on. So some uh, bosses have boss armor. And uh, god damn, this, mo this mother's tail thing is really helping us out. I don't know how lead pencil is going to work. I imagine it won't. <laughs> just because we don't shoot. But I honestly, th this mod does surprise me with some of the synergies it has. So we might end up finding ourselves seeing synergies we do not expect. But lead pencil, I would expect what is not going to be one of those. But yeah, I probably won't need to use Liberation all that much early on. But once we get into boss fights and a little bit later down the line, it might become a little more relevant. We also do have to consider that Mother Spine is always going to help us. Um, so Club of the seems a bit silly. Let's take a PhD. Um, and it did, we, we lost the uh, thingy, unfortunately. Do you know what? Diplopia seems like it could be really, really good if we can get uh, our hands on it. I'm trying to see if there's any good way of getting money this floor. Okay. So the thing is as well, we do have to charge the uh, we do have to charge up our active by stepping on the cracks. So it's not like you can use liberation right off the get go to lock in your uh, lock in the cracks on the floor. You do have to kind of play around that and wait a little bit, which is why I say it's probably going to be more relevant on longer boss fights. I think really where that's going to kick up a notch is if you can be a little patient in boss fights such as Hush uh, and Delirium and Mega Satan. That's where it's really going to become quite relevant. The good thing is with Mother Spine here as well, it kind of locks in through the walls. There you go. But Penny, we'll actually take but Penny, why not? The Sun card here is fine by me. I'm I was gonna use it on this fight, but I'm actually gonna say no. We got one crack, two crack, and then let's try and wait. Okay, all three cracks are locked in. Now we'll use this. And now you'll see, so we'll step on both these cracks and they'll instantly respawn. Somewhere else in the room. There you go. And it just means that you can drastically speed up your combat and it means you've got more freedom to move around within the room that you're in uh, you don't have to be as sort of locked to waiting for the cracks to spawn and you might not have to move as far each time and cross um different sections okay um i i will check a devil deal i'm sure there's some interesting synergies here now question is do i need damage ups Hmm, okay, um... So, Whore of Babylon isn't that useful for us, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take the mark here. Um, I think, I think the mark puts us in a good spot. Um, and do we need to do much more of this floor? I do kinda wanna see if I can get Diplopia. I'll play this, uh, play this floor out and just see if I can manage to get that, because that would be a really great get for us. Uh, let's carry on this way. I think this is Secret Room. I'm not 100% sure on that, no... Big sad, big sad. We jump forward. And yeah, so far, really enjoying this character. There's definitely a lot more characters, by the way, for those of you that watch my regular series. There's a lot more characters that I do want to eventually add to the main series. Um, and I am planning on doing that. But one one thing that holds me back a little bit is I, am, I, I take quite a lot of pride in my thumbnails. Um, because my artist that draws them skull does a ridiculously fantastic job of them but at the same time i don't want them to absolutely pummel him with new drawings because of course uh, they're very high quality and they take him a good amount of time and of course i do pay them for them too so the more character uh, i do pay him for them too so the more characters that i get the more it's gonna cost but that's not really the major concern um but i just don't want to pile with too many so as sort of more come up and I will sort of take a decision, but basically there's there's been quite a few characters recently that I've been asked if I'm going to add to the series, and there's, there's really two things that I'm looking for in modded characters uh, when I add them to my series. One is that they have unlocks. Having unlocks makes them way more applicable to the series, especially with how we're doing it right now. But the second one is them being... Um, for one, somewhat unique and, uh, and fun to play, obviously, but also uh, them being reasonably balanced. Like, I played the Arachna mod recently. Very, very, very good character mod. A actually an amazing character mod. I really love that character. But that character is very, 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 very strong in my opinion. Um, so, oh my lord. <laughs> 
Uh, that, that character is very, very strong in my opinion. I haven't actually taken a look if that character has been changed at all since I last played them. There is a very strong possibility there's been uh, balance updates. And if that's the case, please, people out there, do let me know. Um, and I kind of want to sort of evaluate it just so I don't want it to be that we get a character on the randomizer Especially in the series that I'm trying to make a little bit harder uh, That we just always win no matter what and um, and this this so far This doesn't seem like one of those characters. This seems like one of those characters that, that might end up being like that late game But early game is a little bit of a struggle. You're gonna have a bit of a hard time And we've already got up to the point where we can have five cracks so I'm pretty happy with that. And also we got a little bit of a speed upgrade, which I think is a, a major help to us here. I don't think IBS is going to help all that much. Anarchist's cookbook is uh, it's a little bit of a funny one, really. A little bit of a funny one. I, I need to remember I probably should have just gone for the ghost bombs there. I need to remember that I have that ability. Um, if I just use liberation in an item room or a shop or whatever, and I don't like the item, I can easily uh, get some value out of it. And it probably would have been a good idea to do it there. I mean, Anarchist Cookbook's fine, but it's it's not really what we're looking for. Let's do the boss first. We still have our sun card. Honestly, I'm going to save it to the next floor because I forgot about this floor. We, what we want to do, ideally, is we're at one, two, three. Mother's Spine is doing a good job. Four, five. We've got all five of these. So then we step on two. Ow. And then we wait for those to come back in. And then we pop Liberation. Now we, we're not going to take the next hit that, we, uh, that we've normally taken. And we also have Flight, which means we can just pummel the hell out of this dude. Beautiful. And we get some really nice items here as well. I'm going to leave that Eternal Heart until we leave the floor, because why wouldn't I? Uh, also, I've cracked that open too. Didn't manage to get Diplopia on the last floor. Bit of a shame. I should have, should have at least bought the Soul Heart, but honestly, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with where we sit right now. Um... And I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually reasonably happy to have Anarchist Cookbook. I'm already playing a character in which I've got to move around a lot anyways, so Anarchist Cookbook isn't that big of a departure because we're going to be moving around a lot to get out of the way of our own bombs kind of often when, when we use this, so it kind of works. It kind of fits with what we've got going on. Of course, it could be a little risky because it could end up placing the bombs in positions that cause uh, some problems for us. Uh, okay, so we got... Consume all pickups in the room and gives a small but permanent damage up for each pickup consumed. Interesting. Spawns an extra item in the shop. These items are mostly uh, money themed. And we've got Mun's lipstick. Mm, I think I think the fancy brooch is a good pickup. Also, uh, let's see if we can find our secret room because I think getting Mysterious Gift here to get a secret room item would be very valuable. I'd very much like to see that. We do have a good few bombs left here as well. Oh, a little bit risky there, a little bit risky. Okay, okay. I think I know where Secret Room is. I think all of you probably know where it is. We're just going to quickly fact check that. Yeah, it's almost definitely here. It looks very likely it was going to be here. Um, we got some extra money. We do have a uh, butt penny here, which it, when there's a group of money, it's very frustrating. I will quickly pop bomb into my care room to even get an item out of this. Fortunately, not. But useful nonetheless, maybe? Depends if it drops or something at the end. Yeah, there you go. Useful enough. Right. Let's quickly... Do you know what? I'll pop this in here and see if we can um, destroy anything worthwhile. Sadly not. But let's go and get a mysterious gift over here. And see if we can get ourselves a nice thing from the secret room. It'd be really interesting if... I wonder how it works. I, I think it's astral... Pro what the hell happened then? What, what, what blew those up? Was it my spine? Might be my spine. Um, but uh, I think it's astral projection, which is the thing that kind of duplicates the effect of liberation. I wonder what happens if you get that item as well. That's, that's kind of an interesting thought. Ooh, so we unfortunately got an item that isn't particularly great, but it is decent. We'll see what we end up getting. So, okay, um, we did get two very useful ones. Uh, one of them long-term, one of them not so long-term. So, it's a little bit of a, a shame to lose the sun card here, so I'll just pop it for the half heart. It's going to give us a little bit worthless, I know. But yeah, getting a, a Soul of Eden is actually pretty valuable. Um, there is plenty of situations I can use that. In fact, I think my sort of most likely situation to use that... Car battery. Damn, I'd love to grab car battery right now. That'd be very, very fun. Um, okay, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave... Um, but yeah, it, w it would be kind of interesting to grab that. I think the best situation is in our next floor shop where we have the choice of items. 
use it in there to, to perhaps get a better selection if the selection we're initially provided isn't very good. Uh, that seems like a good way of doing it. I don't know if this character has any ways of uh, gaining any additional Vengeful Spirits. I think the Vengeful Spirit, as I said at the start, is literally just there to make sure you can destroy poops and fireplaces. Because obviously some modded rooms require you to do that. Yeah, so this is a good example of a room where we should try and hold off a minute. And then lock it in. Just to make things a hell of a lot easier on our part. Whoa! Dude's firing homings. Like the rest of our cracks. There they are. Good, good, good. Do you know what? Pop this in here as well. There's plenty of mushrooms about. Might be able to get uh, myself a little treat. We do, we do have PhD as well, so grabbing pills is a good idea. I think that gave us an extra half soul heart. Nothing major, but decent enough. Make sure we don't accidentally use our Soul of Eden, because I've been known to do that many a time. So even just a basic getting getting three here. You, obviously, you do got to consider the fact that it does use a bit of time in the like initial startup. So if you could have just killed them quicker without doing that, then it's probably the best course of action. Ooh, this is a slightly tricky room with this setup. But I think, yeah, we got it, we got it. We do have the Curse of Decay on at the minute. Uh, items are going to start disappearing if we either leave them in rooms on their own or we don't pick them up fast enough. By the way, also something to consider is the way that damage works with these cracks, with these ghosts, is that they can hit up to, I think it's three or four times per hit, uh, per time they hit the enemy, and um, they deal our damage. So the more damage we have, or is it two times our damage? They deal, they deal damage based on our damage stat at least. So... Um, the more damage we get, the, the better, really. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> a crack that is unfortunately unobtainable for us right now. And an enemy that is very hard to hit for us. we got to kind of preemptively hit our ghosts to get ready for them. Crack, crack, crack. The mother's spine is so good for these weak enemies. Uh, that's an unfortunate, unfortunate situation there. Uh, I... I do you know what? This is actually no, 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 it's not. I can pop this, re-roll it into ghost bombs. I was kind of hoping it would also proc the, um, the, what's it called effect? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, that was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? Um, I was hoping it would proc the effect of astral projection so I could get flight and just skip over those rocks, but. Okay. Ooh, we did get his birth right. Uh, Liberation no longer rerolls pickups into ghost bombs. It rerolls into items, choosing from its own item pool instead. Awesome. Very, very good. That is something that we are very happy about. We could also take chaos, but I actually kind of would like to stick with the pool that we've got here. Um, so I could also use my Soul of Eden, although probably a good idea to use Liberation here. There you go, and just see what we get. Um, nothing there's really worth buying. But as you can see, they are all ghost-themed items. Honestly, just take the damage and get out of there. <laughs> take the damage and get out of there. But I think this is this is really good. Getting Beth right here is very, very nice. Because now Liberation has so much more use cases for us now. Because it's not always going to turn to ghost bombs. As I did say... When you get ghost bombs, normally there's a chance that it ch turns into birthright. So the more ghost bombs you get, the more chance you've got of getting birthright later on. So you do have to consider that as well. Ooh, these small rooms, these small rooms are kind of a double-edged sword. It's much easier to hit your cracks, but you have to move around significantly more, which means so much higher likelihood of you actually getting hit anyways. I really like this gameplay style. It's very fun. It's very different. I always like it when, um, when characters... A kind of like their own... Oh, the the, the, suck, the sucking things got me there. The grimaces. Uh, they're kind of like their own mini game. They always appeal to me. Ooh. Right, so this might end up being where we want to use Liberation. So, in fact, honestly, I have to say... Liberation would be good, but Cancer is pretty awesome. We've also got... Um, straw man which i didn't realize was a shop pool item uh, and we've also got dad's wallet all shop items will act as if they are free picking up a shop item will remove one charge from this upon losing all charges item will disappear Ooh, really cool 
I really like the idea behind that. I don't have the money for it at the moment. Uh, but I kind of would be willing to grab that. But yeah, cancer's really good for us here. Of course, we kind of needed the, the HP anyways. But also, it's going to be super, super useful a little bit later on. Um, on the womb, fighting hush, things like that, if we end up doing that. Ooh, I didn't think about the synergy with having ghost bombs and Anarchist Cookbook, even though I saw that happen earlier. We can um, utilize Anarchist Cookbook in certain rooms to get a bunch of ghosts. So we really have, like, sort of tuned into this character's personality and gone full-on ghost mode. I love that. I do really like ghost bombs as items. I think they're very underrated. I think, I think they're underrated only because... You, because they're so hard to unlock, they're like a, I think it's like tainted loss to delirium, and everyone's like, for fuck's sake, that wasn't worth it. I don't know if it's delirium or, me or mega Satan or it's it's one of the harder bosses. I can't remember which one it is now. Um, but like everyone's like, oh my god, that was so hard, like, like so annoying that I went through all that effort and that's all I got. Um, we'll pop liberation now. I didn't quite get up to five there, but four's enough. And we can just keep on hitting the cracks. Oh yes, definitely having higher speed on this character seems to be the way to go. More tiers is great. That's going to increase us up to six. Very nice. Now, I wonder how Incubus works. But, I, I'm, I'm unsure how Incubus works, but I'm actually going to take this instead. Gives a huge damage boost after killing an enemy and gives you a small damage boost for each monster killed. Uh, resets each floor. I think it resets each floor at least. Um, this could be really good because the we could kill an enemy with our uh, Purgatory Ghosts and then it could go on to kill another enemy because of the way higher damage boost that it gives. I think that could be a very, very interesting little micro synergy. Now, most of the synergies this character has uh, are actually like hard-coded synergies, so it's not going to have some crazy like synergies with modded items, but it does have some soft synergies like that one there where we get like a big damage boost and it's going to help it out. Beautiful. See that massive damage boost we got there? And then we do get a small permanent damage boost as well. Okay. Also, I believe having higher tiers increases the rate at which our cracks appear, which is another just great part of this. Ooh, did they add a little, uh, like, notification thing to... Ooh, this is this is interesting. 100% uh, chance sewing machine shops... That would be good if we had anything upgradable. I don't know, Mother's Spine might be upgradable. Maybe it says in the encyclopedia. Let's have a little check. Upgrades. Yeah, it does. Damage up occasionally shoots poison laser. Laser shot charge up. Ooh. Okay, so let's let's grab that. Um, This could be pretty good as well, though. But yeah, let's grab that for now. And we might want, we might want to try and get this guy going. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, th these small rooms are really a double-edged sword. They feel like they're, they're, they should be so much easier, but you have to move around a lot more. And those rooms, normally, you do not want to be moving around much in. I like that. Yeah, Anarchist Cookbook is actually fantastic. I wish, I wish, I wish we could have gotten it with um, Car Battery that we saw earlier. That would have been fantastic. Oh, that was a bit of a stupid move there, wasn't it? Yeah, this damage up thing is proving to be quite saucy. Proving to be quite saucy indeed. Because we, we literally jump up to 20 damage for about a frame. So as long as we hit an enemy on that frame, we do crazy damage. There we go. Up in here. So, Dirty Mind's pretty good, but I think this is going to be our first time of using our Soul of Eden. And we got Goat Head. I will definitely take Goat Head. I don't think they considered what would happen if someone re-rolled this room, did they? Because I'm still here. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, might want to might wanna fix that, guys, at Ipecac. Might want to fix that. But either way, right now we can do um, spawn... I think it's 5.300 point... Point one? Yeah, there you go. That's always a way to get yourself out of a soft lock if you use the console. Uh, a little bit annoying there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think the developers really considered that um, as part of uh, part of that little interaction. But it, it, which is kind of odd, because I, I feel like if you ever give the opportunity for a, for a person to get an item, they should always, always consider the fact that someone might re-roll that item. 
But yeah, I'm hoping that that this item gets kind of a a, a slap on the wrist soon, anyways, because. I think it's very strong. It'd be I, what I think would be ideal is if it did the exact same thing, but the items costed something. So you you get a choice of three items. It's still strong. You still get a choice of three items every shop, and they can be from any pool by the scene, by the looks of it, or like from the treasure pool at least. Um, ooh, hello. But I, I think it would be a lot better if instead you actually still had to purchase that item rather than it just being given to you. Because with it being given to you, that is quite strong. So we're going to upgrade Mother's Spine here. Uh, it's now upgraded. It has a little hat. I like it. I love it. There's a, a butt penny on sale there. Oh, that's because of the uh, the brooch that we've got, hasn't, uh, haven't we? By the way, is it is it just me? I'm not sure if it's like an accent thing or a regional thing or like a UK America thing. But I hear some people say, just for, just for reference, for this item here, I, say, I hear some people say brooch, which is what I would say. And I say, hear some people say brooch. Like, I think brooch is correct, right? But I'm not sure if it's just like, I think that's correct, or if that is just like a, a cultural thing. And in America, they just say it differently. I'm, I'm really not sure, I'll be honest. Oh, I didn't actually finish the stream, unfortunately. Oh my god. For some reason, I just didn't register the creep at all there. Interesting little room. Oh lord. Oh god. This is a room that I don't want to be moving around too much in. I'm getting quite a lot of eternal enemies at the minute as well. I don't know uh, if the chances have been increased or whatnot, but they seem to be just about everywhere. But I like that. Like, I've set the limit to only ever have one pair of room. It, it, I think originally the mod had set it to. Um... Yeah, I'll take that now. I think originally the mod had set it to um, three pair room as, as a max chance, and I was like, nah. That's, that that could be potentially devastating. So I think one pair room is enough. Because the they're they're difficult, but they're not like crazy. I don't want them to define my I don't want them to define my run. I feel like that's like kind of artificial difficulty if they just kind of define the run. We'll go up to three. My ghost bombs are doing a good job of helping out here. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, Ghost Bombs are doing a great job. Ooh, we even get Golden Flakes here. Um, which is going to make our Golden Trinket even more gold -er. Ooh, hello. Ooh, now if this gives us another 10 cent, we can upgrade our Mother Spine one more time, which I would be very happy about. Let's quickly check in on this. Empty Vessel isn't going to be, uh, isn't going to be active here. I mean, a good idea actually would be to liberate here. Um, an empty vessel didn't actually re-roll. We got ghost bombs again, so I'm not too interested in that. I'm not really too interested in collecting that full golden coin, but while I, what I will do is I will go back over this way and do another upgrade on Mother's Spine. I think that's going to be very valuable. Um, yeah, the, 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 the sewing machine is a, a mod that I've come to terms with recently. I used to uh, I used to think this mod was quite overpowered. And I, I, to be honest, I do still think it can be a little more overpowered. But it's been balanced a little bit. The machine has a higher chance to break now, so you don't always get to uh, use it. It has a little bit lower chance to spawn from what I've seen. It doesn't appear as often as it used to. And also, because I'm playing on a hard difficulty, and on my main save file, I'm not using my donation machine at all. Like, I've literally just not filled it um, for my YouTube series. I can't abuse the donation machine to get, like, a free upgrade. I'm actually quite liking that change to my series. Having the donation machine, pretending it just doesn't exist, is is helping me. Ooh, a golden battery. That's, that, that's unfortunately not very useful for us, but that's kind of saucy. Oh, God. Oh, oh god, the, I, for some reason I thought the blue bricks would deactivate. They most certainly did not. Oh, it's just, it, it's just so fun, like, do you want to take the risk of, like, running up to a crack that's right next to an enemy so that you can, for one, get some damage, but for two, spawn it in a better location next time? Or do you want to wait until the enemy moves and have a higher chance of getting hit that way? It's, it, it, it's quite the toss-up, I like it. Um, perks in this room is insane. Also, we get a lot of money out of this. That's one player. Although, there goes going to make this kind of slow. Two. Three. Four. 
Hello. That's nice. That's really nice, actually. Five. Six. Okay, maybe not the smartest play, but when you get a, a perks in one of those rooms, I kind of have to go for it. Um, yeah. Do not push button is like a... I think it's like a 6% chance for um, a do not push button being in a room, which is one of the big red rooms, the big red buttons that kills everything. So now we have even more reason to be like searching through our rooms. There's a door mimic as well. Cheeky little door mimic. Right, crack this open. Yeah, definitely worth it. A little bit annoying that we got a bunch of familiar air thingies there. Ooh, I will take Locust to war. That is potentially incredible. Oh wait, does look let, let me let me just see this. Does he spawn a ghost? Does Locust the Wall spawn a ghost? It doesn't. I, I didn't think it would, but I was like, do you know what? I have to see. Oh god. Monstro, you need to die now. Ow. Definitely need some more HP back here. The Eternal Chub. In fact, I'm gonna use this on Eternal Chub. Get mauled. Get murdered. Hey, that's an eternal heart. That helps. I like that quite a bit. Yeah, having having the locust of wars like another form of getting around the like early the early parts of a room where things are a little slow. Celtic cross. I think we can say no to Celtic cross to be honest. Probably anemic too. I'm looking for a fire rate increase, really. Or a synergy. Not leprosy. Not bum friend. God damn, this is some bad rolls. Not giant cell. Oh my god. Freezer baby, I guess. Almond milk would have been kind of interesting. I, I don't know how the living fuck that would have worked, but I would have been really interested to see. Unfortunately, game was like, heck no. Freezer baby. So, honestly though, freezer baby... Another another item that actually lends itself to moving around the room a lot, so I'm I'm not displeased about it at all. If we play to its strengths, we can make it work. Um hmm. I think I'm gonna do liberation here. And yeah, I'll definitely take that. And then can Freezer Baby be upgraded? That's that's a that's a question right there. If Freezer Baby can be upgraded, I would very much like to do that. That would be pretty awesome. Oh god, oh god, that bomb got way too close. Oh my god. We have so many ghosts. Oh, did I really step on that creep? But it expe it did actually expend my uh my golden heart and give me some money, so all's fair in love and war. Yes. Damn it. I'll leave you on there for a second. I'll come back for you, my sweet, my sweet. I might need to expend another golden heart here. <laughs> we will see. Oh, wait. It lost my eternal heart first. Okay, I thought the golden heart expended first. I'm wrong. Big sad. <laughs> big, big sad. That was a lot of shots, dude. Holy hell. Oh, come on now. There's gotta be some... There's gotta be some secret little pennies somewhere around here. I'm a little annoyed that I uh, lost my... Lost my eternal heart for no reason other than my own stupidity. But that's life, I guess. Hmm... Trying to think if there's anywhere else that we can get a bit of moolah, but I don't know if there is. This could be potentially a source. Yes, and we got a half soul heart. Would have been good to have found that prior to trying to lose my golden heart, but there you go. Yeah, I don't even know what my upgraded uh, cute baby's gonna do, but maybe we can actually take a little look within the um, encyclopedia. Give it a little check in a second. Right. Upgrade my fella. Give me him back. Right. 
see what he does inventory upgrades gain a freezing aura enemies which stay in it too long will take damage until they are completely frozen spawns creep when moved around faster uh the faster it moves the more creep it spawns sounds very strong yes this is a, a cool little combo now we've got quite a lot of movement tech We've got the, the, the red buttons that can appear from time to time. And now we've got Freezer Baby, which is also another reason to move. And then we've got the dodging of our bombs as well. And now we've got Eternal Mum, which can spawn monsters on us. So that's going to be interesting. I really should be using a uh, Liberation here if I get the opportunity. There you go. Especially considering there's like a few cracks over a gap here that I can't get to. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. My health isn't great. I'll, def I'll definitely say that. My health is not in a great place. But we just got a Eternal Heart and a Soul Heart, so I don't care. Grab the Polaroid here. Check this out just in case. Didn't end up doing anything for us. I don't know why sometimes the Devil Deals don't re-roll. Anyways, maybe we need to be closer to the item. Might be something to do with that. Yeah, okay, helps a little bit here. And you got you got to remember as well, we do have uh, cancer. So we do have a little bit of a additional protection on like the boss fights and stuff. Okay. Rooms like that are where things are a bit tough. Where there's like a massive gap in the middle of the room. Or there's like a lot of gaps and we have to move around quite a lot. But I really think that our uh, Ghost Bomb synergy is a big helping hand. And when the Ghost Bombs kill, they can spawn the um, the other Red Ghosts. And I always remember, I forget what that item's called. Um, but they spawn the other Red Ghosts, which are going to help us on as well. Rooms like this scare me, because what if all my cracks spawn at the other side of the room? What do I do then? I suppose I, I could use Liberation, but then again, I'd have to get enough charges to get Liberation. I suppose that's why you have Vengeful Spirit, just in case. There, there, there really is only ever going to have to be, like, problems in modded rooms when it comes to that, because a lot of the vanilla rooms don't really do things like that. So, and I always I always kind of say this. I don't think mod authors should ever have to change the... That was a very nice button there. Change the balance of their mod to accommodate for another mod. That's not really something that I think should happen. There is, there is rare cases where I kind of think it makes sense with bigger mod packs that are always used together, but it's, it's definitely rare. Freeze him. Yes. I love it. Oh, he popped up right on top of the crack. Hey, blue map's really nice here. Very happy to see blue map. I'm just going to go back this way real quick and pick up this red heart. I'd rather not lose my burn heart if we can help it. But red map, uh, red map, sorry. Uh, blue map here is going to be super nice to find in those secret rooms. They could give us a bit of extra benefit. Look at cute baby girl. Imagine getting this with the ability to throw into. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Speed up, yes. There's another speed up pill there. I want it. <laughs> I want it. That's so upsetting. Okay, this is definitely a room where I could bomb myself here, but honestly, this guy needs to go. He's going to take over the whole room if I'm not careful. Give me a red heart. You gave me a... Is that an immortal heart? It's kind of nice. It's not quite the same, but similar gesture, I guess. Oh, Lord. Back in here real quick. What in the ever-living shit is this dude doing? <laughs> Amazing. Who did this? What little prankster made that come to life? Oh, God. Yeah, I thought this was pretty much a guaranteed hit for me there. Oh, I'm stupid. I saw a black chest and immediately was like, ooh, we could open that on. Uh, this room's bad. I was like, ooh, we can open that. And then I opened it and lost my mortal heart. Very silly of me. Didn't think. Wow, you froze him immediately. The cute baby doesn't actually seem that overpowered, to be honest. 33% chance to spawn a damaging fire upon killing an enemy. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try that out. That could be interesting. This guy is eternal. Be ready for that. I don't know what that means for us, really. 
It seems to mean more feet and they shoot shots. I might die. I think I've really maybe misguided the amount of HP that I've spent in certain situations. But I mean, we're getting through. We are. And an eternal heart plus a chocolate, piece of chocolate definitely helps. Plus two black hearts. I'm just going to take it. I mean, it might be a good idea to... I'm just going to go for it. I don't even know what having two of these does, but I don't care about ghost, baby. I'm going to go for it because it puts the HP in a bit of a weak spot. But now we have permanent flight, which I feel is very valuable. And occasional invincibility doesn't hurt. Also, we get a, a guaranteed payout from this little fella here, which is nothing. That is nothing. Thank you. You've truly made my day with your lack of anything. <laughs> that was that was a little sad. Uh, we'll play this guy and try and get some wisps. I love this little beggar. He's cool. Thank you. Maybe one more for me. Thank you. Uh, tell, uh, we don't really need that. Thank you for trying, but we don't really need it. Oh, just the amount of ghosts we got going on right now is special. Yeah. Um, I'm confused. Why do I have a heart? Did I have... Did I have an eternal heart? Now I need to trade that away too. I don't think I realized I had an eternal heart when I had this whole empty vessel plan. I mean, I still think that was a worthwhile trade anyways. I, like... I was kind of hoping for maybe a little bit more than the fucking black bean um, from, from from our little ghost fella. But unfortunately, alas, we did not get so lucky. Yeah, I was hoping for permanent flight here. Not quite got that right now. Let's be very, very careful here. Oh my lord. Remember they're explosive. <laughs> oh god, I'm so scared to like use my oh my god, that's all the kill switches. I'm so scared to use my um spacebar item, my Anarchist cookbook, because I don't want to hurt myself, but I think it is a necessary evil. Also, the mother's uh spine doing this much damage is kind of crazy. It's one of those rooms where we kind of maybe need to use utilize flight. Nah, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. Yeah, we got through it, we got through it. Oh god! There was underground spookers. I wasn't expecting the underground spookers. Hmm. This could be the death of us here. We'll try it out. It's fucking eternal as well. Great. It's the eyes. The eyes were problematic for us. Liberation. Go. And obviously as well, another thing is moving around Mum's heart is not a good idea. I got hit again. Bollocks. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, Mum's heart is one of those bosses you really want to kind of stand still for. Also, it seems that a lot of the cracks have nice and kindly spawned directly underneath her. Which I feel is a little unfair. But we got her, and we got a mortal heart out of it as well, which is very kind. Um, I'll check this out. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Do I take this just to get empty vessel, or is that... I don't think that's a bad idea. I think getting empty vessel is important. I think we should go for it. Okay. Move along. Yeah, flight two is pretty important. Ah, oh, kill switch, kill switch. Pop the kill switch. Getting guaranteed easy kills. That's my jam. Ooh, this could be good. It was good. I immediately got hit. Don't lose my immortal heart, please. Damn you. Treat 
tricky ass game. Hey, we're spawning fires though, look. Oh my god, there's ghosts everywhere. We came out of that pretty good. Um, the devil. I don't even... Oh, soul heart, that's so nice. I don't even know what the devil does. Never remember. Pop it, I guess. It gives the seraphim to the floor. It's a pretty pretty weak card, but it's it's not bad. Easy kills. That's very satisfying. Get a hard room and just like me. Also, as well, the the purgatory ghosts do destroy shots by the looks of it too, which is really nice. Ace of hearts. I think ace of hearts has the best chance here of being uh, pretty good for us. So let's grab it. Yes, please. I don't think I want an, an eternal heart, to be honest. I don't think that'll do too much for me. Ooh, thank you. That was pretty beautiful. And once again, thank you. I mean, just having flight to get to those buttons quickly is pretty important, actually. I didn't consider how good that would be. Confessional, eh, unfortunately not great for us. Isaac's going to be a little bit of a pain here. Oh, quick. <laughs> quickly, quickly. He's immortal as well. I, I have a small feeling that my uh, that my mod has been reset and the settings are uh, the settings are now being changed to all story bosses are immortal. We'll know once we get to Blue Baby, but so far, Mum, uh, Mum, Mum's heart and Blue Baby have all been immortal. So it's kind of like I'm getting the feeling there's a pattern emerging here. Seems that there's some sort of pattern emerging. Facts are instantly spawning. Doing good damage with them. We'll get rid of those cracks. Probably gonna be like one more run through of this. We've got invincibility right now as well, I didn't even notice. I was just bashing myself into him without even knowing I was invincible. Ooh, the, the, like, blood gibbs on the floor definitely make things a little tricky. It's hard to see. Like, hard to see where the cracks are. There is a mod that gives the cracks an outline. Maybe I should go and install that. Because some of these are pretty tricky to see right now. There you go, we got him. I'm not looking adequacy. There's another Eternal Heart. I'm sorry, but I need to keep... That invincibility was so valuable then. I need to keep the ability to have that going. Pyro is pretty good with our spacebar item. Ooh, Bird's Eye Chili. There was actually a synergy added for Bird's Eye Chili in the most recent update for this mod, so we'll see what that does. But not this room. <laughs> okay, Brittle Burns is kind of like one of those ones where it's like, it is good, but I don't know if I can take it right now. If I find some red hearts, I will, but right now it seems like a, oh god, bad idea. War, could you stop being you, please, for a minute? Oh my god, dude, just stay on the screen <laughs> for like two seconds. There you go. And you're dead. <laughs> so satisfying on this floor when you can do that. My chances for getting these buttons is crazy high as well. Most people, like, don't get many at all. I'm like, I get all of them. All the buttons. Shouldn't be too bad. Love the spine doing its homing thing as well. It's kind of nice. Telepills? Not super useful, I don't think. Oh, there was literally a button stuck to the door. Now, this, this time we can take an Eternal Heart. Um, makes a lot of sense now because it's just it acts as like an extra hit for us. Rubber Cement? I don't know what that would do. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. I'll take it, though. Might make our dudes bouncy for some reason. I don't know why that would make any sense, but... 
But it would be cool to see some bespoke synergies for items like that as well. Ones that you might it might not make so much sense, but I bet there's some interesting things the developer or even other people can think of for that. We should definitely take it to our boss fight. If we get if we manage to make it there. Oh god. Dodging and weaving like crazy. Help me. The ring not over yet? Okay, there you go. Now it is. Oh. Another, another pretty interesting one. See what I mean? Like, it's like a 7% chance for the buttons pair room or something and like something crazy like that. Oh. This room has a ridiculously low spawn rate, and I got quite lucky there. So let's pop that. It's all the pennies. Um, let's pop that. It's double Soul of Bethany in here for some reason. Soul of Apollyon. Soul the Intruder. Of Interesting. Um, I think we want to grab this, and then just pop it somewhere where it'll be useful. I don't know where that'd be. I'm just gonna pop it there. Why not? Uh, and I think we want to grab this to bring in with us, right? Oh, grab that! God damn, we're looking like a beautiful, beautiful star. Did I miss? How did I miss this button? Yeah, we definitely have a setting changed wrong because we should not be. Oh my lord. We should not be seeing every single story boss being eternal. That's pretty crazy. Also, I thought this would... I mean, I know that I have mods on to make this guy a little stronger. But I thought this would have, like, killed him. Killed him by now. And it hasn't. <laughs> he is taking quite the beating from my ghosties. Oh my lord. He's so close to dead. We got it. We got it. That is pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a very, very fun little challenge. But we added a bit of extra spikes and a bit of extra difficulty too. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, please go check out this character. And I'll see you guys in the next one.